Welcome to the most recent news and interview series brought to you by CC101 Productions and Hazel and Harlow. This particular entry is with Los Angeles showroom owner Diana Volato of the Style Assembly. We caught up with Diana at her booth during Project, a fashion trade event that took place recently in Las Vegas. Here's Diana's insight into the current climate of the buyer's market and consumer trend reactions to our interesting new economy. Here we are with Diana with the Style Assembly. Okay, thank you so much for taking time with us today. I know you guys are swamped. I really appreciate you letting me barge in here. So can you tell me something? You're in front of Hazel and Harla, which we think is really fantastic. We love being with you. Um, Style Assembly and Project, what is the connection and why do you choose Project to exhibit over any of the others? Well, we actually started with Project about two years ago. Um, they started, I believe it was seven, maybe eight years ago, just as denim and men. And it kind of evolved into what it is now. It's about the more edgy kind of clothing and accessories. It's really the only place in Vegas where you can see great contemporary products. Um, some of the other other shows tend to be a little bit more misty or a little bit more mainstream or a little bit kind of boring, frankly. Um, so we want to be at the place where all the fun new stuff is happening and it's where all our buyers go. Okay, so tell me, you're talking about Vegas. There's Las Vegas, there's Paris, there's New York. What is it about this town that gets everybody so like pumped up about buying? It's like they don't buy anywhere else, but all of a sudden, they I'm in Vegas. They love coming here. I mean, I think... For the buyers, it's really easy for them to go to all those other places, but like you said, they're cities, and they kind of have to fight the city when they're there, where it's here, it's really easy for them to come and do all their shopping uh -huh. in one place. They don't have to hop around in cabs, they don't have to be out in the snow, they don't have to be trying to figure out the way the city is laid out. This city is kind of there for them, and it's fun at night, you know? It's a really, it's a great place for them to come and hang out with the other buyers and hang out with us reps, and we can all go to dinner, and we can all go places, and we're all in a nice localized place. Tonight. So talking about the buyer, obviously the economy has been a little scary for everybody for the past, you know, 10, 12 months. Yeah. I feel that there's some activity going yeah. on here. I feel like the energy is a lot more optimistic. Are you feeling that from the buyers totally. that are coming in with you? What's the vibe you're getting from the buyer? Well, I think the buyer is no longer scared. I think what happened is about a year and a half ago, everybody got really scared. The stock market drops and, you know, people were going out of business left and right. And us as reps, we were happy to deal with that. We were finding stores closing left and right. Now people are starting to open again and people are starting to expand doors and people are starting to see their customers come back in and be comfortable with buying again. And they're getting excited about products again. I think there was kind of a period where people just didn't even want to look at anything new. They don't want to get tempted. They don't want to touch anything. They want to be safe. And now, you know, this is fun. It's a fun business. There's a reason we're not all selling cardboard boxes. So, mm, awesome. Know. So I have, let me ask you a really quick question and I'll finish up with you because I know you're busy. The price points for product, are you finding that customers, i.e. the retailers that are buying for their consumers, what's the, what's the magic number? Is there a magic number for something with contemporary accessories and contemporary fashion? I think they love, I think, first of all, it's the right price for the right product. Their customers still understand pieces that have a lot more work and have a lot more detailing, but I think they really love hearing that it's under $50 wholesale, and that's what a lot of our price pieces are priced at, and so many buyers, when they come up here, they kind of look, and you can see their eyes, they get a little bit nervous, and it takes us walking up to them and explaining where Hazel and Harlow is targeted to really get them excited about it, because they think that they can't touch it, and when they find out that it's a price that'll work for them, they are so excited. Oh, awesome. I listen, I thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Have a fabulous show. Thank Make sure you. that you eat and drink and don't party too hard. I and I we love it. So as the show circuit dials in and the industry designers, manufacturers, and deal seekers keep pounding the halls of so many upcoming global events, we'll be doing our best to snag a few key moments where we share more of what's happening in the news of fashion and lifestyle. Check back with us often. Our upcoming interviews will include spots with designers Famina, Louise Douglas, Teresa of Stone and Honey, Catalina de la Toro, and the creator of the Hazel and Harlow jewelry line, Amy Yankelovitz. For now, cheers from CC101 Productions and Hazel and Harlow.